Miss Christensen, you, you rented a loft from Mr. Butcher. He lived in the apartment as well. You just rented a loft, mm -hmm. sleeping loft. You had kitchen privileges, I assume? That yes. would be a yes. And you rented this place and gave him a deposit, moved in the end of March? Yeah, March 28th. Now, when you moved in, you moved your clothes? I moved most of my clothing. I wasn't able to hang it, though, because the... I don't need a whole story. You Sorry. moved in your clothes? Yes. You moved in your shoes? Yes. You moved in your toiletries? Yes. Did she move in with boxes? Yes. I'm looking at him now. She did. She moved in with boxes? It was furnished, so she didn't need furniture. Correct. Who lived there before? The previous tenant was a, a gentleman by the name of Avery. And how long was Avery there? Approximately two months. What do you do for a living, Mr. Butcher? I wait tables. I'm in the service industry in Park City, Utah, and then I also have a tree company that I run during the summer. And she moved in all this stuff. Did she have a moving company, or did she do it herself? She did it herself. And how long did it take her? Two to three days. And I believe the actual date was March 26th. But it took her two or three days to move in. Correct. Mr. Butcher, why do you think somebody takes a loft, spends two days moving, schlepping her stuff into that loft? It requires a ladder to get up there, right? Correct. So she's got to take clothes, books, whatever. Why do you think someone would move out after a month? I say to myself, she wanted a place to live. She got a place to live. She gives you a deposit. She pays her rent. Right? Why do you think she was so unhappy that she packed everything up, gave you notice that she was moving out? She didn't give you 30 days notice, but she told you before that she was moving out. And you actually found she moved out in May, right? Correct, May 19th. And she paid you prorated rent for the 19 days, correct? No, not correct. How much did she pay you it was in May? In May, nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Did you pay him anything for yes, May? Yes, I paid him $368 for the prorated rent, and I paid him $38 for our half of utility. Did you pay him a check or cash? I paid him with a money order. Do you have a copy of that? Yeah. Here's the money order for the month of May. And here's my deposit for April. $368 she paid you pro rata for May. And you had somebody move in June what? June 1st. How much was her deposit? There was no deposit. How much was your deposit? $600. She paid you $1,200 when she moved in. $600 for rent and $600 deposit. Did you forget that? It was first there and last month's is there rent. Something, is there something wrong with your brain? No, it was never a deposit. It was first and last month's rent, as it was stated in the ad. It was never a security deposit. There was no attachment, whether it Mr. be Butcher, refunded. Mr. Butcher, yes. you've been spending too much time in Park City. Maybe so. It's a nice place to spend some time. It's though. a nice place. When you're 25, you've been spending a lot of time in Park City. Why did you move out after a month? You want to tell me? Or you, I mean, I don't care if she embarrasses you. She said that you had random people over there all the time. They left the door open all the time. That's why she moved out. I mean, there has to be a reason why somebody is moving out after they spend the time to move in, spend two days moving in, and in less than 15 days, she says, you're miserable. I'm moving out, and I'm going to pay you for the 19 days that it takes me to find someplace else to live, but I can't live here anymore. Why do you think that she did that, Mr. Butcher? How old are you? 46. You have to give her her deposit back. I was in such a hurry to move that I missed a few items, well, and they're still at his house. But when I have, came... Do you have her passport, her Social Security card? Do you have that in your house? I do not. She actually contacted my current roommate and made arrangements to retrieve those items. I still have not been able to retrieve them. Did you contact the new roommate? I tried to, yes. Did you speak to the new roommate? Yes. She wasn't able to find them. So he wasn't able to find them. He doesn't have them. I still believe they are there because I moved in with those items. And when I moved out, I didn't have them. Well, you have to keep more careful track of your items. You knew you were moving for at least three weeks. It would suggest to me that those things you would take, a passport, your Social Security card, and certainly your iPhone. Goodbye, $600. Judgment for the plaintiff. We're done. Thank you.